and action or you can say confused action. As I always give examples that people buy a new pair of jeans and then they tear it from many places and then they put it on. And then they walk on the street and they're very happy about it. But this is, if you look from a normal, as a normal state of, of mind, this is something confusing. People go to a gym for exercise, very popular, I don't know, maybe in Vilnius also. I see in, in India now, in Delhi, in Bombay, big gyms, gym is a new fashion. And they have big uh, window glasses so people can see from outside what's going on inside. And they have this uh, big television, flat screen and music and they are just jumping on them. It's total confusion. They don't know what they're doing, you know. Even like if, if you are a relaxed person, you will see, you know, what, what's going on. Are they watching TV? Or they're listening to music? Or they're doing exercise? This is also called multitasking, you know. It's a very popular word, multitasking. People think that if you are doing multitasking, you are very smart. According to Ayurveda, you are mentally disturbed. Or you can say you are mentally sick. Because multitasking doesn't happen. It cannot happen. We have only one mind. And mind can connect to one object at a time. It can, of course, it is very high speed. It shifts from one to another. But at a time, you can actually do only one thing. Here. So this is actually, when you do multitasking, you are actually creating more disturbance in the mind. So try to do one thing at a time. That's why I said that when you have time to eat, so just eat. When you have time to meet, then do the meeting. When you have time for playing, then play. When you're watching TV, then watch TV. When you're listening music, then listen music. When you're exercising, then exercise. Why disturb your mind while exercising? It doesn't sound very logical, but a lot of people do it. Especially I've seen that all this fashion, Fashion is confusion. There's nothing in fashion, it's total confusion. Because these celebrities, usually what they do is, they are very, you know, bored with their life, with their regular dress, with their regular hairstyle. They are quite bored because every day is the same. So they also want to have some change. So sometimes they put some gel and make like this, some hair, you know, some spike. It's called spike, you know. So they come out on the street like this with a shirt which is very dirty and button are broken and it's not ironed properly. So they will come out on some party like this. And then photographers, you know, taking pictures and writing, oh, he looks very cool. Now what is cool about it? You know, it's all dirty, you know. Everything is dirty, the hairstyle is very bad. It's nothing cool, it's very bad, you know. And then everybody starts to copy them. Everybody. Because majority of people are confused and active. Rajas and Tamas. Majority of people have Rajas and Tamas dominant in their mind. That is why we have this stress. That is why when the boss is sick, I think I am sick. That is why when I have not done anything wrong, I think I am guilty. That is why when I am good, I think I am bad. Do you understand now? I am making it more clear. Every day in our life, we experience these, these kind of incidents. And we are always thinking about something which is not true. It's because of confusion. Because actually we are drunk, you can say. We are drunk without drinking. This is also a kind of alcohol. Rajas and Tamas is a kind of alcohol which makes your mind completely inert and confused. And you are active. Otherwise, do you, do you think a sensible person will tear a new pair of jeans? A person in proper senses, why would he cut his jeans from many places? In the, I think in India still, it is considered Anybody whose pants is torn, he is a very poor person. And now most richest person wear these torn jeans. Because they are fed up with their richness. 
They want to look poor. <laughs> it's their problem, but it's not my problem because I'm not rich. I'm maybe just an ordinary person. So why I'm trying to copy somebody who is maybe fed up with his life or with his you know, fame, his position. These people are, they have had everything in the materialistic world they can think of. They have private aeroplanes, nice, uh, you know, ranch, beaches, and what, what not, you know, these, all this. So they are completely, you know, because they don't have any spiritual path to go. That's why some of them even now commit suicide. Or they take drugs, because they want to forget that they are famous, or they are so important. So, rajas and tamas is very, very important to understand. If you want to get rid of mental stress, you have to really understand this rajas and tamas. And sattva. So one point program again. I am giving you solutions at one point. Body, I told you, ama, ojas, okay? One point program. No ama. Just remember, no ama. Soul is definitely one point. I am soul. I will never die. I am full of love. And now for the mind. Sattva. Sattva is very important. You have to focus on sattvic food, sattvic activities, at least for four weeks. Very important. I always say three, four weeks because modern science has proved that if you repeat a particular activity for at least 21 days, then in your brain this forms a fixed pattern. Then you cannot change it. It's very important. Otherwise, you do it for two days, then you're back to the same, same habit. Eating rajasic food, eating tamasic food. From morning till night, that's what we do. Rajasic music, disturbing music, tamasic music, confusing music. Rajasic smell, very, you know, powerful smell, not relaxing, stimulating. Stimulation is very big in this modern age. Everything has to be stimulated. Even you go to a restaurant where it should be a nice place to actually eat in peace. There is stimulation. Some music is going on. Loud music is going on. So stimulation and confusion. This is the big problem. Rajas and Tamas. If you can cut it down, I am not saying stop it because it's very difficult to stop it. So, okay, you can drink maybe one coffee per day, okay. I am not so cruel, don't worry. So I advise you. Maybe one coffee is okay, not five coffees per day. So little bit of stimulation, little bit sometimes some rock and roll, some maybe excitement, but not majority of the time. Majority has to be sattva. Because what is the benefit? When majority will be sattva, then the rajas which is there in the mind will do positive action, not negative action. It will create something positive. Like now we are doing this Ayurveda. This is also out of rajas, you know. Somebody came up with this idea, okay, let us do Ayurveda. I remember when I had a meeting uh, about, I think, almost two years ago with the Orimas and Gintas. So I said, my goal is Ayurveda in every home. So they immediately become excited. Immediately. Okay, let us do it. So this is called positive action. It's also rajas, but something positive. Because Ayurveda in every home will bring love, peace, and so many other things in the, in the world, you know. Actually, Ayurveda is the only solution for this world which is going into crisis. There is no other solution. No government can bail out this crisis. They are trying. Every day they are buying one bank, trying to bail out this company, trying to bail. It's not going to happen. We have to come back to our original, our original style, our original nature, our original. This, this was all fake. This crisis also is going to help this humanity, actually. Because we were going in a wrong direction, we were living in a fake world. All this so-called plastic card world. That's why it collapsed. It was fake. There was no 